but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, right fielder. Digging Andres in to try it again, Barrera. Andres Barrera. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Tell you what, he's got a good changeup, and I love throwing the changeup right there. You got two strikes on the hitter. That ball coming out of the hand looks so much like a fastball with the same release, and then it ends up being a changeup. I like the pitch. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Now batting. Left fielder. Riding in once Robert again. Robert is Waldo. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. No runs, five hits, one error so far for the Astros. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Boy, has he had a rough day. Three strikeouts and finally gets a base hit. Tell you AJ what, that's going to give him a little bit of confidence that he can even put a ball in play anymore. Go 0 for 3. And here's the big left handed bat of A.J. Reed as he'll take a change up here for strike one. So far, 2 for 3 in this one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hit to third. Donaldson's there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He'll Leading get things started Leonard. now in the bottom of inning number Left eight. Fielder. Action in the bullpen Billy. now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Beckham scoops it up. Yeah. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart now the bunt of town. But right. hold on Fielder. here now. He jumped out Sid. of that dugout in a Sid. hurry. He might ask for that out call to be reviewed. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mariners. Are challenging the All right, we'll take play. one last look at it here. The question is, is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe? And wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat that throw. This challenge might work out for him. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off, and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base, and they maintain the right to challenge further plays going forward. In now, Sid Sis takes this the other way to right and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game and the runner from first comes around to score well you just keep adding on that's how you win games and he's a big part of it right here that's his third RBI and they extend the lead this quarter Kyle Seager Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. And the runner's breaking for third. On a big swing there by Seeger as he gets a hold of one high and deep out to right field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run home run off the bat of Kyle Seeger as they just continue to pour it on here. That puts him in the 2020 club. 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases. You don't see that very often anymore because guys don't run as much. 
But 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases, Your that used to be the standard back in the now day. For Ricky the Pritchett enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try Ricky to keep the deficit Pritchett. right where it is. Stepping in now, Ken Griffey Jr. as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. The windup and the 0 1. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Barrera racing back, still going back. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. Solo shot to right center. His third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game. Into the box now, Josh Donaldson. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will, just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking to right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Standing in now. Freddie Freeman as he sends it on the ground to first and he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third digging in and looking for more Corey Seager it's been a nice game for him three hits including a homer to this point from the stretch and this is turning ugly now as this balls down for extra bases and they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Well, Matt, he's homered in this game. Drives in a run right there. This is his third RBI of the ball game. He's doing his part. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And no one can corral that one. Base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Well, he showed up ready to play today. Had two RBIs earlier right there. The delivers for his third seven, RBI of the eight, game. Big day. Trey Turner. In now, Trey Turner as he lifts it in the air to right field. Barrera is right there as he takes it for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Left fielder. Billy Stepping in and ready Hamilton. for another shot, Billy Hamilton. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. First offering on its way. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready once again, Colin Moran. And then what's gone wrong Maybe for this for lineup extra. today? They're only three Very outs away from being shut out. Well, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Designated hitter, Jose Into the windup and the pitch. Jose Martinez is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting toward the third base dugout, and no one will get this one. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. 
Fortunately, he fouled him off instead of putting it in the seats. That is a great two-strike approach. Spread his legs out, kept now, the hands him. back, and just Second punched the ball through for a ground ball base hit. Back up. Into the box now, Tim Beckham. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready on 0 and 2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The batter, number For eight. me, check swings Short are stop. right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Ready for another shot now, Carlos Sanchez. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets oh. to their feet. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're one and two, and you showed him the high fastball. On his junior, but this is a base hit. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to get him? on the board. They've been that's shut out the whole game. Emil Harmon. Stepping in now, Emil Armas, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And that's taken for strike two, as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great player. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 18 to nothing the final this afternoon. The Seattle Mariners with a huge offensive game, 26 hits. Miguel Cardona was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station. Located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.